Hello everyone, this is Matt Hoots with Sawhorse, and we are going to have a cook-off. We're going to see which type technology is going to cook water the fastest. We've got infrared electric, we also have induction cooktop, and we also have gas. On your mark, get set, go. All right, so we have three pots here. They are all uh, same material, same amount of water. The first one here is gas, the next one is induction. And the last one is electric cooktop, infrared technology. On induction too? Nothing in the gas so far. The way that handle's designed, it doesn't transfer heat from the We've seen a little bit of progress in the induction, so we see some bubbles in the ground. And looking at the electric, no uh, bubbles. Nothing so far. What's this on, medium, medium, high? So whenever you do gas, you always want to size your flame to the pan. Yes. So I actually have it between low and medium because if I go any higher, the flame's going to lip around the pan and you're not going to get good heat conduction. So minute and a half, nothing with the gas. So for all you gas heads, nothing's going on there. Oh, look at that. Yes. Induction has some bubbles. It sure is. Uh, physics, science, we love it. Steam. Steam. And looking at electric, oh, starting to yeah, we're, we're seeing right. some bubbles at the bottom, but <laughs> that's it. definitely not as much as the induction. So. And just to note, Matt, our water came out of a refrigerator because we made sure that we used the exact same size of water, bottled water. So our water was actually about 34 degrees instead of out of your tap, it's probably around 65. Oh, yeah. So it, it is it's boiling. Powder. That is All right. You see that so steam? That is now a full boil, three minutes and five seconds. And that was again, that water was 34 degrees. So wow. the control, again, the vessel is the source of energy. So that's the reason you can control the heat and have such immediate response. So, all right, let's, let's push the button again. So we got your hand in it. Simmer. You push the button, simmer, instant simmer. Push the button again. Instant boil. Being a working mom, I am. I learned today that induction could give me time back um, and saving on speed to cooking and on the cleanup. The fact that things don't stick on there and I can clean up super quick after the kids get done and I'm done with the meal would give me back hours of time. So I am sold. <laughs> so we've got a good bit of steam with the gas. We're pretty close to boiling. It's, it's right there sort of on the cusp. So far, it looks like it's almost at a boil, and this is twice as long as it took the induction to boil. Same amount of water, same pot. Same pot, same temperature, same content. Looks like the electric is trying. I don't know. What's the over under on this one? 10 minutes? I would say 10. We literally are. It's coming. And this is on high. I mean, you can see. You can see that glow. You can see the glow at the bottom. So the reason this is taking longer, you have this infrared technology, basically little heat lamps underneath that's heating up the glass. The energy has to transfer from the glass to the pot to the water. Where the reason the, in, the induction works so much faster, you've got magnets induction, um, or, or you can just call it magic if you want. And the, the, the pot itself is heating the water. All right, so Another 15 seconds, we're gonna call it. Let's call it 12 minutes. Yeah, let's just call it 12 minutes, and you know what, you we'll didn't yeah. you, you didn't cross the finish line, sorry. Well, I didn't even take a Definitely looking for it. But unlike the induction, I just turned that burner off and it is still yeah. bubbling just yeah. as much. So again, to the point that you're not gonna get the control of temperature. Once this gets hot, that glass underneath has retained so much heat that this is gonna stay at that temperature for a while. If this were a delicate sauce, a chocolate, I would physically need to pick this up, move it to another burner, and set it on low because this burner will retain heat for several minutes. So Chef George, one of the reasons that we are here today is to show builders, architects, real estate agents, and consumers that cooking with electric is not the same as it was with cooking with electric in the past. You know. Coils are out. Obviously, we're using infrared technology or induction cooktop. So, tell us a little about your experience in cooking with electric and some of the pros um, and cons of cooking with electric versus cooking with gas. Okay, uh, so we can break electric down into two categories. We can do either do induction or electric cooktops. So the heating, the heat transfer is different for each one of those. 
Uh, induction is probably more of the way that people are going nowadays because it's a much more efficient energy transfer because the energy is transferred directly to a pan um, that, you know, basically it becomes the big receiver, it becomes the burner itself. So with uh, an electric cooktop or an electric burner, we have coils that heat the glass that heat the pan. So it's similar to using a gas burner. So it's not as efficient as induction by any means. Um, it has fast heat up, but it's got some lag time on cooling down. Where, as we use induction, then we have a quick cool down, just like we would with gas. We have all the control with induction that we do with gas. So, drawback on gas is, we have about 60% energy transfer, roughly, and um, whereas with the induction, we've got about 98% efficiency, because most of the energy makes it into the pan. So those are really your big pluses. So you are a chef, and a lot of uh, picky cookers out there say, I only want to cook with gas. So what do you have to say to those people that only like to cook with gas and, um, you know, with regards to at least considering induction? You know, if, um, well, a little caveat with that is um, if you're going to use, if you want to have the griddle or the char boiler with our equipment, you'd, you'd have to go with gas. But with induction, though, you've got to ease of cleanup. Uh, you don't have the residual radiant heat that you have. If you make, if you have a boil over or a spill on an induction cooktop, you can just simply pick up your pan, wipe it up, and put your pan back down. That's definitely not the case uh, using gas. And uh, thanks again for having us out today. You're welcome. Have a great day, Matt. Oh my God, I am so impressed that it's not hot. Actually, when I got here, I was like, don't sit me near it because I'm gonna sweat, it's gonna be too hot. I got to turn back on, I was like not doing it. It was fantastic.